Mary Pat, welcome back to Money Talk. Thank you, Bob. It's great to be here. Mary Pat, you help owners of large, mid-size, and small companies to jumpstart their businesses. Is there any one key that you find is the jet fuel to increase success? Yes. There's one key to success above all others. Truly know what your customers want and deliver on it. Great companies are continuously looking for more and better ways they can serve and delight their customers. How do you do that? Ask your customers. Bob, when I ran national marketing for Taco Bell, I received the results of phone surveys eight times per year on key factors that customers told us in previous research were important to their choice of fast food restaurant. I could watch subtle yet real shifts in attitudes, which, by the way, is how I found the need to shift our marketing programs to feature lower menu prices and ultimately went to the value menu. But you don't have to be a billion dollar enterprise to stay close to your customers. Companies of all sizes can participate in this in easy and very meaningful ways. Now Mary Pat, what are some examples that you can share with us? Bob, some of my biggest insights at Taco Bell came from sitting in a Taco Bell restaurant with my jeans on, eating and watching my customers, watching what they were buying, what they were enjoying, and what they were saying about the food. Every company can do this. I like Absolutely. that. <laughs> I can eat some Taco Bell. Absolutely. <laughs> And by watching your customers interact with your product and service, you gain a lot of insights. Entrepreneurs and listeners to this show should think about the following as well. Think in the course of my company's normal interactions with my customers, where are the opportunities for me to ask my customers one, two, or three quick questions for their input on key items? Perhaps it's on your website or at the point of customer interaction with an employee. Engaged customers are likely to help out if you keep it short. Second, every company should have either an annual customer satisfaction survey or an end of the project satisfaction survey. Three, always remember that short online questionnaires are inexpensive and easy to do at any time of the year when a question comes up. And another approach that I recommend is something called Insights Intelligence, a service which I encourage my clients to do on a regular basis. For example, a software client of mine has a new product that it wants to sell to new segments of the market. Since my client is a smaller company and didn't want to spend a lot of money, we engaged in Insights Intelligence for a fraction of the cost. What is this service? We held informal, one-on-one, -on -one, hour-long meetings with leaders of potential customer companies to get their input about the new product, where they saw its value, how would they improve it, and what kind of companies they thought would be interested in buying it. They were assured up front by me that the meeting was a strategic project, which it was, and was not a sales meeting in any way. My client learned that his product, in fact, was likely not going to be purchased by the segment he thought was number one on his list prior to doing this insights intelligence. So we reformulated the marketing plan based on these invaluable insights that we gained. So in summary, know your customers and delight them by meeting their needs. It's simple, but many companies fall short on it. Be a success, stay very close to your customers, and your sales will jumpstart and rocket. Mary Pat, great information. Thanks for being with us today on Money Talk. Thank you, Bob. It's great to be here.